Yes, welcome to another walkthrough and introduction video of a new product. Um, a Contact 5.6 full edition and up instrument, a production tool called the Screech Designer. Make sure you have the full Contact edition uh, because it will only work for 15 minutes in demo mode in the player edition. Um, and the Screech Designer is specifically created with over 50 controls to generate, configure, hard style, hardcore screech sounds. Uh, and screech sounds obviously has to do a lot with distortion, EQing, filtering, and uh, pitch bending. And the, this production tool does it all. Uh, who's this for? For the starting producer, because there are a lot of cool presets out there, but obviously also for the more advanced producer, for the pro producer, because this instrument replaces a lot of steps and automation things in your DAW. Um, because everything is tuned to do one thing, create screech sounds. So let's check it out. What are we talking about? There it is, the loss of audio screech designer by Illusion. Um, during this video, I will sometimes play some of the preset sounds created with this instrument so you have an idea of what you can expect and what you can create yourself or use yourself. Let's start with the layout of the instrument. On the left, we have a sounds section, which you can use to pick your starting sound. On the bottom left, we have the pitch envelope. In the middle, we have the filter and amplifier envelope sections, including some displays. On the right, we have the effect section um, uh, and we have the LFO section. On the top right, we have a destroy and distort feature that works together with what we see here in the middle, the big knob, a bit later. On, more on that. So, the sounds itself. Let's uh, discuss the starting sounds. Well, first of all, the sound you heard me play in the beginning is coming from the synthesizer, obviously. So, let's check it out. Like that. And this is a pretty generic classical hard style screech. Um, and it is, in this case, it is created with a layer called Wave 4. Well, what layers do we have? We have got 35 different uh, Wave layers, so sound sources. And we've got five custom layers, which you can use uh, and replace your own audio samples in. Make sure you tune them to C. Um, so all these 35 sound sources have a different origin, either a hardware synth or a different kind of a timbre, a different sound, sine wave, uh, detuned sawtooth, etc. So there's a lot in there. So that's also the difference with a normal synthesizer because this is already one step uh, after the production process because the, the sounds have already been tuned to a specific timbre. Um, so um, we can choose three different layers working together we can set the individual volume controls and we can set the individual pitch of those layers to create some really cool detuning. On the bottom left, we have the pitch envelope menu, which consists of a uh, free pitch like this. with several features. If you want to know more about the details of every uh, knob, um, the documentation is included, which uh, describes all of the controls in there and what you can do with them. Over here we have a toggle. The toggle simply acts as a visual representation, visual toggle between the features. So it's not that if you toggle something, the other thing won't work anymore. So you can use everything in one go. So over here, we just saw the pitch envelope menu and we have got some pitch presets, which is very interesting to add on top of the free envelope, especially like the raw feature. So um, just check it out. It is very fun to use. In the middle, we see the filter and morph display over here. Well, 
just to put it very short, this is a low pass filter resonance attack uh, decay feature, everything on the filter. And over here we have a attack and a release feature of the amplifier. If you click on the controls, you can actually see what the current value is also here in the filter display. Um, and obviously when you twist the knobs, it is also shown. On the right, we have the effect session, which actually um, includes a saturation to thicken up the sound, a bit crusher, a spike for the transients, a width to set it either mono or really stereo, a reverb, nice convolution reverb with a pre-delay. Obviously, you can use your own reverb in your, in your send effects in your DAW, but um, just for uh, creating the sound, it's already in there. And there is a toggle again. That toggle enables a phaser or uh, shows a phaser which you can enable. And um, it shows a high pass filter, which you might need in case you do some really cool stuff in the middle with this big knob, but a bit more on that later on. Then we have the LFO section. The LFO section consists of a pitch LFO and a filter LFO, uh, all specifically tuned, like I said, to create a cool screech. Let's quickly check out one of the features with the LFO feature. Let's enable it. And there's a sync mode as well, uh, so you uh, can tune it to the BPM of your track like that. So um, up next, the distortion and the destroy function. But before we go there, I have to enable one of the knobs because there it is. We have a morph mode. Morph modes, four different morph modes can be used to really create your own screech, timbre, sound, make it unique, twist it, automate it, go crazy at it. All of the four modes have a unique uh, character. They bring something to the sound um, in terms of filtering, etc., resonating, EQing, etc. Um, that is the adventure part because I'm not going to show you all of the possible uh, morph modes because this would bring down the, the enthusiasm and the adventure for you when you actually get this instrument and start using it. But obviously it has been used by me, by me a lot in uh, creating the presets. On the top left, we have a mod wheel section. And the mod wheel section is quite intuitive because it helps you speed up the way you um, morph your sound. So let's pick an example. Let's go over here and uh, uh, go to this loop and set it to an init preset just to give you an idea. And let's go to uh, one of the wave layers. So let's play around what we hear so far. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now let's enable the morph modes. Let's enable all four morph modes. And let's enable some destroy. You can also set the amount of the destroy. Now it sounds like this. Ooh, that's deep. Um, and what we can do now is we can um, use our mod wheel like that. But this feature actually enables you with the next and previous buttons to quickly go over all of the morph mode settings. So I can play a loop. You get the idea. So really quick intuitive way of setting your mod wheel destination. There's two slots available and there is a, uh, a positive and negative way. So you can uh, set the order, the movement of the knob. Now, obviously it doesn't go without any cool presets because you've got to know what you can do with it. And in this video, you already heard some of the sounds, but let me play just a few more. Let's uh, check it out. Let's check out Brut. Let's check out Drukkemaar. Yeah, cool. 
Um, let's check out some more stuff like the raw sea for breakfast. Yeah, that's uh, that's cool. That's really raw. Um, and let's check out screw me. Cool. And what you're hearing now are just a few of the presets without any automation on it. And that's where the cool part comes in, because every control you see here is predefined for automation. So uh, straight away in your door, you can start using the automation by simply hitting the right button, as example in Cubase. So every control which um, is eligible for automation has already been pre-set up. So what can that automation do? Well, just l let me give you an example of uh, what I also uh, created in the introduction video, and that is I can show you some of the automation like that. If I do some automation on some controls, and let me open up the in this instance of the instrument as well. Um, if you uh, look here, well, what you can see then is you can um, see the movement of all the knobs and just listen to the sound. Just an idea of what you can do when you actually automate your sound. So um, yeah, definitely uh, a lot of uh, ways to create original cool sounding screeches. And I am so, so interested in what you think about this instrument, this production tool. If you have any feedback, um, send it over to me, just like what I did with the Hardstyle Kick Configurator. I uh, also made an improved version on that. Although this one has been tested massively thoroughly, it has 20, 2600 lines of code. So it has been a lot of, a lot of work and I hope you respect that work by uh, supporting, supporting this instrument. But above all, it is a very helpful production tool. Um, I'm gonna use it myself. So that is of course uh, the, the key foundation of what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, I think it's time that you start creating some cool screeches. So head over to my web shop on loss of audio, store.lossof.com. Um, and you can get the instrument over there. If you have any questions, drop me a line in the support contact uh, uh, box. And uh, yeah, all I have left to say is uh, happy producing.